And as I just said, we open with Money Matters. Now, the Salaries and Remuneration Commission is facing imminent disbandment after the National Assembly this afternoon set in motion the process to get rid of it. Members of Parliament were united as they supported a motion filed by Igembe South MP Mithika Linturi seeking to remove the SRC commissioners from office. And as Sam Ogina reports, the legislators say the commission overstepped its mandate in reduction of their salaries, thereby violating the constitution and should be censored. The salaries war and ejection of the salaries and remuneration commissioners was officially set in motion in parliament. In a self-preservation move, the MPs rallied behind the Gembe South MP Mithika Linturi, who is sponsoring the disbandment motion. Scathed by the salary reduction from 831,000 to 531,000 shillings, the MPs staged a unity of purpose in defending their pay. There is need to have the whole commission moved, removed from office and probably have a fresh team appointed that will be able to understand the law and the constitution and perform its duties based on the foundations of law. We are not after, we are not after our salaries. Mozo Meshimiwa Linturi is raising fundamental breach of the constitution. Unless we stand up and defend this institution, if we let this institution be destroyed, Kenya will become a banana republic. The commission was indicted for alleged subversion of the constitution and violation of separation of powers. MPs faulted the Serem Commission, saying in setting MPs' salary, they circumvented the Parliamentary Service Commission's role that deals with MPs' welfare. The argument is not about the salary. The argument is about the constitutionality of that purported Gazette notice of first March, just on the eve of the election. She is rogue. She is rogue, Mr. Speaker. What must happen, Mr. Speaker, is that this parliament must take its rightful position in defending the constitution. The Salaries Commission, in a bid to appease the MPs, has slightly caved in to their demands, awarding them 5 million shillings car grant, down from 7 million shillings repairable loan within five years. To sanitize their defense for a pay raise, parliamentarians claimed they are fighting for the sanctity of the rule of law. Any committee that will be seized of this thing must do fair to this institution of parliament, must do fairness to the Republic of Kenya, and bring a report that will censure and punish. If there are thieves, it is the Kenyan people who are thieves. If they are greedy, it is the Kenyan voters who are greedy. Even newcomers in the National Assembly infected by the bug of huge pay packs were on a warpath with the Sarasarem Commission. This is the beginning of a very dangerous trend. It is the beginning of a trend of reduction of salaries, Mr. Speaker. After an animated half-hour debate discrediting the salaries body, the Serem-led Commission's fate now lies with the Parliamentary Committee on Delegated Legislation that will recommend to the President if at all the Commission should be disbanded or retained. But already the National Assembly has set the mood with the parliamentarians, saying they want the Commission out of their way for meddling with their salaries. Samogina Ketian, Nairobi.